We used to laugh in HR and say that we were closing the books like the accounting department did every month. In your extensive experience, do you have any tips or suggestions to give to HR leaders on how they can best communicate the value that they're providing and also tell the story of their workforce and what's needed so that their C-suite can listen? I'm a huge fan of numbers. I mean, I think the organization communicates with numbers. And so HR professionals need to do the same. Very early in my career, and I'm sure that you go to these kinds of meetings too, um, where your department leaders, your department managers sit around the table and they talk about the projects that they're working on and the things that they need in order to be successful with those projects. When I became a manager, when I became a director, I went to that meeting and I would sit and listen to everybody go around the table. And, you know, the director of operations would say, this is what they need and they would get it. Or the director of marketing would talk about, this is what we need and they would get it. And so at the point that they finally got to me, I would talk about what I needed in order to be successful. And sometimes I I got it and sometimes they didn't. And I'll be honest, it kind of made me mad. I didn't understand why I couldn't get the things that I was looking for. And I really spent a lot of time thinking about it. And what I realized was happening in that room is when everybody else was talking, they were talking about ROI, they were talking about metrics that the organization used to evaluate its performance. I mean, maybe they were even talking about the gatekeeper to the company bonus program for themselves. But the point was they were talking about numbers. And when it got to me, I would talk about what made the employees feel good. And I don't want to say that what makes the employees feel good isn't important. But what I figured out was when I could turn what makes the employees feel good into a number, I got what I wanted to. I think that one of the things that HR professionals need to remember is to talk the business numbers. They need to talk in terms of the performance metrics that the organization uses. That's fantastic feedback and something that I would imagine was much more difficult looking back 10, 20 years. And today, most HRIS, HCM, workforce management technologies do provide those metrics. And so it's much easier to tie how the employees are feeling, right? What that employee engagement looks like and tie it back directly to retention, which can be directly tied back to all of these training costs and onboarding costs and ultimately lost productivity, all of these other metrics that, that tell that business story. And so I think that is a perfect example of how we are seeing this growth with the technology directly supporting HR. And uh, you know, when we talk about taking away the, the meaningless menial tasks and elevating the true important and, and meaningful work, I think that's a great example of it. And I'm glad that you brought up the connection between technology and the numbers, because one of the things that human resources professionals need to do is understand the whole purpose of metrics is to use metrics to make decisions in the organization. If HR isn't aware of the metrics that their managers are looking for, then you want to go out and ask them. You want to talk about, this is what the technology provides. This is how you can use it. But there's an education process there that happens along the way. I've worked for companies that generated huge amounts of metrics for the human resources department. Like I used to work in the hotel industry and one of the hotels that I worked for created a dashboard of metrics. We used to laugh in HR and say that we were closing the books like the accounting department did every month because there was just so much in terms of numbers. And we would distribute these numbers around the company. And then I would go into meetings where the managers would be talking about issues that the answer was on the metrics dashboard that I had distributed to them. And I would say something about it. They go, oh, that thing, we don't read it. And that's like a little stab in the heart. Uh, you know, the team worked so hard. And finally, it was a lesson for me. I went around, I talked to all the managers. I said, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you're going to use to make decisions. I still generated the big report because corporate said that, yeah, you have to do that. But I found that by giving the managers only what they were asking for, 
they read it, and then they started asking for more. And of course I had it because I had this huge report over here that I was generating for corporate. But the, the idea was that give managers what they want in order to make good decisions, and then they will connect with you and you can start talking about all the access to information that you have.